Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to create a personalized text box or a drop down for your product page. So what we're creating here is something like this and you can put like example, it's an engrave. So you can put hello on the engrave and you could have a message, uh, make sure it looks nice. So when your customer add to cart, it should show you on their cart. So right here. So hello, make sure it looks nice. It should show on when you click on the order. So you should see what your customer put in here. So to start, we have to go to the made for you website. So in here, I provided the link for the Shopify UI elements generator. And when you click this one, it should bring you to this website. Um, this website is not related to me, but uh, it does provide simple code. And um, when you, you have a choice to add text short, which is just a one line text box, which is good for a name. And you also have a text long, which provide your customer to add a paragraph, which could be like a message. And also you can have a radio buttons and drop down, select checkbox and checkbox group. For me, I'm just going to use text short, and then I'm going to change the name to engrave here and add really don't want it required but i want it to show at checkout so your customer knows what they put on the message so it will give you a hint right here and this is the preview right here but it's not really the preview i will show it to you so what we're gonna do is copy to clipboard we're gonna go to our shopify store so online store we click teams and then we're not gonna edit the live team instead we're going to edit this new dawn team and you click actions and then edit code. Let's just expand our um, screen by clicking this button. So we're looking for a section folder. So let's close this one. We're going to click on section folder and under our section folder, we're looking for the main dash product liquid. So main dash product liquid right here. And in here, we're going to find our add to cart. So control F. And then let's type add to cart. So right here, this is what we're looking for. And if you go to my website, it should look like this. Okay. And then in here, uh, we're going to paste our code that we just copied from the Shopify UI elements. So when we copy this one, we're going to paste it here. So click enter so we can have a space and control v to paste right here and then let me just fix this a little bit and then click save now when we preview this one let's see how it looks so we preview and let's say a uh, sample and then see how it looks right here i don't really like it in line so um let's try to customize it a little bit so what we're going to do is just to add, let me just close this one. And what we're going to do is just going to add the break. So BR in, I'm going to have a style in here as well. So style and then with 100%. And I also want to adjust the line height so it's a little bit taller. And I'm going to put two right here. And then make sure you close it with a quotation mark and click save. And then let's preview again. So yes, it should look like this. And I also provide that code in my website right here. So when you go to my website, I added this code right here, the BR and then the line height for the text short. And if you want text long, you can just add the width and then also the BR. And I also have the drop down. So when you add the drop down, um, let's go back to our UI, uh, Shopify UI elements generator. And when you have a drop down right here, let's say colors. And then we're just gonna add um, red, then comma, white, and blue. So make sure you, uh, everything is capital so you can have it previewed right here. So red, white, and blue. And then I want it to show in checkout. So we're just going to copy this one. And then we're going to go to our liquid code again in our Shopify store. You can add multiple uh, Shopify UI elements as long as it has a different um, ID and then the name. 
So let's control V right here. And let's fix it a little bit. So this is my new one. So let's click save and look on our preview. So on our preview right here, it doesn't really look good. So I added some customization. So when you go to my website, I added some font size to 1.5 rim. So it's a little bit bigger. And then the width, I wanted to it's just the same length of a button. And then I also added the padding so it looks good inside. So what we're going to do here is just going to copy this one. Control C. And make sure you paste it before the angle bracket. Let's paste it here and click save. And then let's do the preview again. And yes, it, it looks better right now. So it's the same thing. It should work. Hello. And then add to cart. And then when we view our cart, yes, it should be here. And I believe that's it, guys. And let me know if you have any questions or you want me to customize some of the Shopify UI elements. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.